a wireless tattoo machine with seven interchangeable strokes, all for less than $200. Welcome to the Dragon Hawk Mass Flip Pro review. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So today I got a really special review for you and this package was kindly sent by Dragonhawk to review their Mass Flip Pro machine. Before we get into this video, I want to say a massive thank you to Dragonhawk for providing me with this machine today for review and also providing me with their new style finger ledge cartridge range needles. So let's get into it. Coming up in this video, first of all, we're gonna be doing the unboxing. Then I'm going to be going over the specifications of this machine. I'm going to be running through the user manual. We're doing a live demonstration, showing you prices and links where you can get these from. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm also going to have a discount code for you to get even more money off the ridiculously low price of this machine and these needles. And finally, I'm going to give you my personal thoughts and conclusion on this machine. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. When you purchase the Dragon Hawk Mass Split Pro, you will receive here's the user manual. I'll be going through all this in this video for you. So first of all, we've got our machine here. This is our Mass Split Pro machine. First impressions, pretty cool design. Got our stroke settings there. Again, I'll be going over all this in this video, what they do. How to set it so in here we've got the charging cable just charges the battery of the machine if you decide you don't want to use the battery of the machine there's an option to convert the machine to a wired setup so included in this package as well is an RCA adapter so you can remove the battery connect this on top of the machine and go for a wired RCA connection if you just prefer to run a standard power pack with a foot pedal and then Dragonhawk have also included an RCA cable if you did want to use this so here's the RCA cable obviously this side goes into your power pack and this goes into this RCA converter the Mass Flip Pro's length is 112 millimeters, available in eight different colors. It boasts a brushless motor with a working voltage of between five and 12 volts. It has seven adjustable stroke options, which can be adjusted on the fly between 2.6 mil, 2.8 mil, 3 mil, 3.2 mil, 3.5 mil, 3.8 mil, and also 4 mil. These different stroke options gives the machine the capacity to excel in all different areas of tattooing, including lining, colour packing and soft black and grey shading. The current cost of this machine is $179, which works out at €174.89, or that also works out at £151.62. If you do stick around to the end of this video guys, I have got a discount code for you which you can use to get a further 10% off this machine and also any product on the Dragonhawk website including their new range of finger ledge cartridges. When you do receive one of these brand new through the post, chances are the battery is going to be fully depleted. So to charge it, we take the charging cable provided in the package and plug it into the top here. So that's how it fits and the other side into any standard USB charging port. From fully depleted to fully charged it states on the website that it takes between two and two and a half hours and from that you'll get five to seven hours working time on the battery. To turn the mass pro flip on simply press this button on the side here. Just one little tap of the button you don't have to hold it in or anything. To set the voltage this outer silver circle Turn it anti-clockwise, turn the voltage down and clockwise to turn the voltage up. Very, very quiet machine. The safe voltage parameters to run this machine are between 5 volts and 12 volts. So now let's rig up one of Dragonhawk's new style cartridges in this machine. Quick tap to turn it off again. 
So Dragon Hawk was extremely kind of providing me with a big selection of their new needle range and it's the cartridges with the finger ledgers on them. So let's take a look at some of these now. We've got a big selection here, we've got some, um, some mags, some liners, all different sizes. So I'm going to rake up a 9 round liner for this uh, demonstration. Got some nice box art on these as well. Here we go. Yep, these look good. See the, the black finger ledge there? If you've used cartridges with finger ledges before, um, you'll notice a massive difference for comfort whilst you're tattooing. All sterile. Got the blue circles there to show that they are actually sterile. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this is the nine round liner. Let's get this in the machine now. That's nice, it's just gone straight in. You get some cartridges where they feel a bit sticky when they go in and some of them, you twist them to come out and you pull in, trying to re remove the cartridge where it's just, I don't know, they seem a bit, like some cartridges don't fit the machines correctly, but let's have a look at this one. It's an exclusive, guys. Is it going to stick? Is it going to come out? Straight out, look at that. No problems at all on that. Sometimes it can be quite frustrating trying to get the the cartridge out. That yeah, that's nice. Comfortable grip. And that finger ledge there. So let's set this running. Super easy to set this voltage. Needle depth just like any standard machine twist the grip so to adjust the needle depth I'm gonna hold the machine where it says flip pro there with one hand and then I'm gonna twist the grip that's nice and precise I don't know if you can hear that if it's picking it up on the camera but it's got definite clicks in it set the stroke of the machine you can see there where it says mass flip pro just hold this area here it's got an arrow on it pointing to this uh, dial of numbers it comes set at around about three mil but obviously you can set it to what you want so to set it a different stroke just hold this dial here which says mass flip pro then twist to your desired stroke See, I've just set that stroke to 2.6 mil. Likewise, we could set it for a longer stroke. As easy as that. That's now set to a four. Now to get the absolute maximum benefit from using the stroke dial, I'm just going to give you a quick explanation 
of the difference between stroke and needle depth because I think a lot of people do get this mixed up and they do get confused and I've even seen people talk about where they don't actually know what the stroke does and they just leave the stroke set to whatever it's set to and then just get on with the machine and you can tattoo like that but if you were to buy one of these machines and not utilize um, the stroke setting on it then you're massively reducing the potential of this machine and you're just not going to get the maximum benefit out of it so i'm just going to jump into a really really quick section and i hope it's not condescending to anyone that does know what stroke is but there's a lot of people that don't know what it does so this is going to take probably just like a minute just to explain the importance of stroke and why it is so important and why it's completely different to needle depth to not understand what the stroke does is to not unleash the flip pro's full potential the stroke of the machine is the distance that the machine's needle bar or plunger pushes the tattoo cartridge or needle from its most up position to its most downward position. It's agreed amongst most artists and machine builders throughout the tattoo industry. A longer stroke is more suited for a lining machine, a medium stroke is more suited towards a packer machine, and a shorter stroke is more suited for a shading machine. These different stroke sizes for different jobs are down to many different reasons, which I'm not going to get into in this video because it's a huge subject, but the pickup of ink and the ink delivered to the skin is just one of the many reasons for the different sizes of stroke. The confusion comes when the artists think by setting the needle depth using the grip is actually changing the stroke. In this example of a machine with a preset stroke of 3.5mm, you can see, although the needle depth can be changed, the stroke will always stay the same. Most machines come with a preset stroke which can't be adjusted. For a machine to cover all bases with regards to lining, packing and shading, they usually come with an average size stroke which is usually around 3.5mm. A dedicated liner would excel with a stroke of around 4-5mm. A dedicated colour packer would most likely opt for a stroke of around 35 to 4 mil And finally, a dedicated shader would benefit from a stroke of around 2.5mm. Well, now it's time for my personal thoughts and conclusion on Dragonhawk's Mass Flip Pro. Well, when artists talk about budget machines, there's a distinct difference between a budget machine and being on a budget when looking to buy a machine. Obviously, in the past, I've reviewed lots and lots of different machines on the channel, ranging from really low budget machines to mid-range to premium top-end machines. When I crack out those machines later on in the future, sometimes they seem to have lost the punch a little bit, which is a nightmare for lining. If, if you're lining with the tattoo machine, you want a nice punchy machine that's going to throw in those big solid lines. With the Mass Flip Pro, if you turn that stroke dial to 4mm, you'll have a machine which performs pretty close to a high-end premium machine, which you probably pay five to six times more than you would for this machine. Without doubt, the best feature of this machine is the ability to change the stroke on the fly. Again, I've used machines in the past that claim to have adjustable strokes, but the reality is that means you've got to completely strip that machine down, change the cams, take it all apart, once you've taken it all apart and you've got all these different size cams and these different size hex screws, you're risking not being able to put your machine back together again and completely breaking it. So unless you're really, really clued up and you know what you're doing changing cams, like I say, the reality is when a machine claims to have an adjustable stroke and you've got to take it apart, it's not very realistic to do that especially if you're in a mid session with a client you're not going to start saying give me 20 minutes i'm going to start stripping this machine down now because i need to change the stroke of it it's just not realistic so for something like this where you can literally just twist a dial and have a stroke between a 2.6 mil and a 4 mil is amazing especially if you consider this most would consider this with a price range as a budget machine but what dragon hawk have developed here is something very very special so for less than two hundred dollars you've got a liner a packer and a shader moving forward with my conclusion to the cartridges there was one particular company which sent me a big stack of cartridges i'm not going to name uh, which company it was the cartridges were so bad i ended up boycotting the review and sending the cartridges back to the company because i had nothing good to say about them now, as for these finger ledge style cartridge needles by Dragonhawk, I don't use this word often in reviews, 
but these needles are exceptional. That's not just my opinion on its own, because whenever I receive packages like this, I always split them and I get my partner Nat to try them out as well and get her opinion as well. So I'm giving you the best information and the most unbiased information that I can. These cartridges are super comfortable to use, but not only that, they just put that ink in the skin. Like I said, I've used cartridges in the past and they just don't put the ink in the skin. You're pulling lines, you're wiping, a lot of them just seem to be making the skin red and make the skin bleed, but these are an absolute pleasure to use. Akin to drawing on the skin with maybe a biro pen or something like that. So yeah, well done to Dragonheart because I'll be definitely using these needles in the future. Usually after these reviews get uploaded to the channel, I get a lot of questions of people asking me, what do you set the voltage to for lining? What do you set it for for colour packing, for soft black and grey shading? So I've taken all the guesswork out for you guys, so if you do happen to buy one of these machines, the voltage chart I'm about to show you is for lining, packing and shading. So if you get one of these, you can take it straight out of the box, use that chart and get tattooing with it. I did do a video a few weeks ago detailing how to work out the correct CPS or cycles per second of any pen sound machine. So to save you guys time watching this review, I'm going to quickly blitz over and cover how to get the correct CPS for the Mass Flip Pro. I couldn't really find any stitch count or maximum CPS figures for the Mass Flip Pro, so I contacted Dragonhawk and asked. They were super helpful and kindly emailed me the specs of the motor. So the specs of the Dragonhawk Mass Flip Pro motor are 12 volts at 10,500 revolutions per minute, which basically means when the machine is running at its maximum voltage of 12 volts, the motor is kicking out 10,500 revolutions per minute. We then divide 10,500 revolutions per minute by 60 seconds, which gives us a speed of 175 cycles per second. So we know when the machine is running at the maximum working voltage, which is 12 volts, then we take our new figure of 175 cycles per second, divide that by 12, and this gives our machine a speed of 14.6 cycles per second per every volt added to the machine. So off the back of these figures, I've managed to work out the following voltage chart. If you're running the machine at 5 volts, you'll be achieving a speed of 73 cycles per second, 6 volts, 87.6 cycles per second, and so on. We don't need to drop below 5 volts because the machine's working parameters are between 5 and 12 volts. That said, we don't need to exceed 12 volts either because if you run the machine for a prolonged amount of time over the maximum working voltage, you'll end up damaging the motor. I've also gone one step further with this chart guys and also detailed which stroke I'd recommend for each specific job you're wanting to perform. Like I mentioned earlier, if you do buy one of these machines, feel free to screenshot this chart so you can use it straight out of the box with zero guesswork going into voltages or strokes without needing a maths degree to give you the absolute best results. So for a punchy liner, I'd recommend running this machine at around 9 volts with a 4mm stroke. For a decent packer, you can't really go wrong with a middle of the road CPS or a medium stroke. So for this, I'd recommend running between 5 and 6 volts with a 3.2mm stroke. For shading, I'd recommend between 6 or 7 volts or even 6.5 volts with the stroke set to 2.6mm. This should lay down some nice softened black grey blends in the skin, taking into account your technique as well. So if you did like what you see in this video guys, I've got a discount code for you now. So if you follow these simple instructions, I'll show you how to get 10% off all these products and all the other products on the Dragon Hawk website. If you go into this video's description box, show more, and you locate this link here which says Dragon Hawk Official, click that to get to the official Dragon Hawk website. If you don't use this link to get there, the discount code won't work. So when you get to the website, you can ignore this 5% off coupon because I've got a 10% off for you. So the first thing we want to do is add our machine to our basket. Tattoo machines. And there's the Mass Flip Pro. I'm going to add that to our cart. Now we're going to continue shopping, so view cart, and now we want some needles.
Now, if you can't find the finger ledge needles on the website, because sometimes they can be hard to find, um, under tattoo needles there, you can see the standard cartridges. But to find the finger ledge ones, you just go in the search bar there and type finger ledge. So we've got the round liners, we've got the, the round mags or curved mags, whatever you want to call them. If you've noticed, um, every style uh, configuration, mags, liners, they've all got different colored tops. So they're even easier to locate when you're working. These are point threes, which are basically double zeros, which are definitely preferable for lining. Put those nice solid lines in. So I'm going to order some sevens and some nines. Add to cart. And I'm going to go back, put some mags in. Round mag, select some options on here. The seven round mags are really good for detailed work. Stick some of them in. And my go-to favourite needle in the world is the 11 round mag. A double zero 11 round mag, that is. So I'll select that. Add a couple of boxes of those. Add to cart. So let's view cart now. So this order with a brand new machine with adjustable stroke and also three boxes of the new finger ledge style cartridges which would contain a total of 60 cartridges in there comes to a total of $295.50 and then just locate to this coupon code box here put in code johnosmith dash Ten. Apply. Apply that. And you can see that's been applied. We've got almost thirty dollars off that order, which is quite a nice saving. So we've got that whole package for two hundred sixty-five dollars ninety-five, which would be more than ample to get you up and running, get you tattooing, using some decent quality equipment. And then to make it even easier, you can check out with your card details or PayPal. Guys, if you just give me 30 seconds, I want to jump into the super thanks section of the video just to thank all you awesome subscribers which were kind enough to leave a super thanks on the previous upload. Welcome to the super thanks section of the channel and this is basically a new feature rolled out by YouTube and it's kind of like tipping your waiter or your waitress when a video's really resonated with you and helped you out. You can go into the like section and leave a super thanks. Now it goes without saying guys, I'm super appreciated to anyone that leaves a super thanks and to show my appreciation back to you guys as subscribers for everyone that does leave a super thanks on the previous videos, the next video upload, just like this section now, I give you all a personal shout out on screen mention just to say thank you all, you're so awesome and I really, really appreciate it. It doesn't matter which video that you leave the super thanks on because I always get the notification and your name will definitely be mentioned on the following upload. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and it really does mean the world to me if you've taken anything from this video at all. Take a second out right now, smash that like button, let me know that you've liked it. Feel free to drop your comments in the box below, let me know what you think of this machine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, it's really important to check that notification bell. Stay up to date with all my latest uploads. With all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.